Hello everyone and welcome to the Shrimpy channel. In this video, we're going to talk about cryptocurrency spot markets and how to use them to trade cryptocurrency. As you can see, I've loaded up my Shrimpy application, I've navigated over to the trading tab, and I'm currently looking at the BTC USDT trading pair on Binance. What we notice on this page is we could see things like the order books, in the middle here, there's the chart to show the price of Bitcoin in terms of USDT over time. And we have the trade history, which shows each of the individual trades that are executed on the exchange for this trading pair. One of the defining characteristics of a spot market is that when you're placing an order to buy or sell cryptocurrency, the order is executed instantly. So if you, say, place a market order for one Bitcoin, the exchange will instantly execute that order to buy one Bitcoin on the order book that you're currently looking at. That means there's essentially no settlement period. The order is placed with the exchange and the exchange executes that order between the buyer and the seller instantly. The way that spot markets work is there's an order book and on that order book, people can place orders to either buy or sell in this case, cryptocurrency. The orders on the bottom down here would be the bid orders, the people that are looking to buy Bitcoin. The top orders up here are the asking prices for Bitcoin, essentially the people that are looking to sell Bitcoin for USDT. And the spread tells us how far apart the current best bid price and the current best ask price is on the exchange. When we're looking to place an order with the exchange, we can either use limit orders or market orders. These are the two most common order types on cryptocurrency exchanges. If we are placing a limit order, what we would have to do is select a price and an amount to buy or sell. So we would have to select a specific price on the exchange. In this case, say we wanted to limit buy Bitcoin, we could select a price up here at which we want to buy Bitcoin. We can input the amount that we want to buy. In this case, let's say it's one Bitcoin, and then we could send off the order and the exchange will instantly execute that order. In the case of limit orders, however, if we don't place an order above the current best asking price or at the current best asking price, which at this time is 11,972 and five cents, if we don't place an order above that amount, so up here, the order won't execute immediately. It will get placed on the order book for somebody else to take that order. And it will remain on the order book until somebody takes that order. But as soon as somebody comes along and takes that order, the order is executed instantly. On the other hand, we have market orders. We can select market orders here. Unlike limit orders, market orders only take an amount when executing the order. So you don't have to put a price in. The price is the market price. That is by default. So when the order is placed with the exchange, say we are placing a one Bitcoin order with the exchange. So essentially we want to buy one Bitcoin. That order would get placed with the exchange. The exchange would look at the current best prices available on the exchange for the one Bitcoin and they will execute the trades to buy one, exactly one Bitcoin. In the case that there is not enough available at the first best rate, the exchange would continue to buy more and more Bitcoin until it fills that one Bitcoin order. So for example, if there's not a lot of liquidity and it takes a couple levels to fill that order, that means the exchange would continue to move up, taking worse and worse prices until it fills that one Bitcoin. This process of consuming multiple levels of the order book is called slippage. Slippage is a process that is not desired when executing trades. So people who are looking to execute large volume trades, say you wanted to trade 100 Bitcoin at one time, this would not be ideal for market orders. Instead, a better option may be to place a number of limit orders at smaller increments, for example, say doing one Bitcoin limit orders at a time. 
over the course of a day or something like that. However, when looking at market orders, everything is executed instantly, which is why we experience the slippage for larger orders. Okay, so going back to the order book. The order book is a place for people to come and trade their cryptocurrency between the base currency and the quote currency. In this case, Bitcoin is the base currency, USDT is the quote currency. This is not the only market that's available on the exchange. You can change the market by selecting this dropdown and selecting a different market. Imagine we want to look at the ADA Ethereum market. This market also has its own order book. This order book is unique to the ADA Ethereum pair. The pair also has its own price chart where you can see the price of ADA in terms of Ethereum over time. And it also has its own trade history where you can see the individual trades that are executed on this ADA Ethereum pair. If you are interested in trading between ADA and Ethereum, you can use this order book and you can place orders with the exchange by using the limit or market order options. Let's look at one more pair quickly. Let's look at a Bitcoin pair. So previously we mentioned how Bitcoin was a base currency for USDT, but Bitcoin is also a quote currency for many other assets. For example, we can have a BNB Bitcoin trading pair. In this case, BNB is the base currency and BTC or Bitcoin is the quote currency. The quote currency is the currency we use to quote the price of the base currency. So in this case, the price of BNB is in terms of Bitcoin on this graph. As the price of BNB changes relative to Bitcoin over time, it charts the changes as it goes up and down. And similarly, you can execute limit or market orders on this BNB BTC trading pair where it has its own order books that you can look at to place those orders. Please don't hesitate to reach out to our team if you have any questions. We're always happy to help. Otherwise, we hope to see you on the Shrimpy application and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.